Hi guys, it's Nancy, and I want to say congratulations to Pink and Maine for coming out with their Pink Mink. So, I'm going to be making a card today as part of the hop. You want to make sure that you follow everybody on the hop, um, follow comments, leave comments along the way, and you have a chance to win a um, basic foiling kit from Pink and Maine, which will also include the new pink mink, some foilables, and some cheer foils. So everything you needed to get started with foiling. And let's get started. So the cheer foils I'm going to use, these are toner foils. So these do not work in your, uh, well, with the exception of one. This one we'll take out a second. These will not work in your... Um, Glimmer, foil press, go press and foil. These are toner foils. You can use these with double-sided tape. You can use them with deco foil duo gel. You can use them with a two-way glue stick, um, a two-way glue pen, I should say. And you can use them in your mink or your laminator. So we have the first one is uh, Rainbow Stripes. I, don't, I just took the name off of that one. Um, we have Candy Swirl. Glitzy silver, and then this one is a clear foil. I have it marked as a hot foil, but you can use it as an overlay. So I'm going to show you how to use this today. In terms of foilables, I am using this new Splashes foilables. I have circle cut out this Happy Birthday to You from the Happy Birthday foilable kit. And then I have cut a piece of uh, rainbow toner sheets. There are eight colors. You get one sheet of each in this rainbow toner sheets. And they have a brand new garden toner sheets, which are a little bit more pastel. And you also get eight sheets there. But I'm just grabbing a piece of the red out of here. And let me show you the most beautiful mink. The only place you can get this hot pink fuchsia mink is from Pink and Maine. So let me show you the basic operations. And you're asking yourself, why do I need a mink? Because if you watch any of my other foiling videos, your supplies make a difference. And the pink mink is going to give you the highest quality of foiling because it's going to provide heat, which is adjustable from zero heat to five. It's the perfect size for card makers. This opening is six and a half inches. And it provides pressure. So as you're going to see here with foiling, you need heat and pressure. It needs to press that foil into the toner design. So when you get the machine, this is your power button. This is your release button. So what this does is it actually opens the rollers. It's spring-loaded. So if anything gets stuck in the machine, you would turn the machine off here. And you would hold this and then pull out anything that's stuck. So first thing you're going to do is turn that on. And then we're going to press this. And you'll hear it beep. And it'll go to zero, which is no heat at all. And we're going to start with um, level um, three. Okay, and we're going to wait for that to, to turn green. Now, if you are using some other foils, which may not be as thick uh, and high quality as the cheer foils, you may get some wrinkling in your foiling. If you're getting wrinkling, turn your heat down the number two. Okay, but for the cheer foils and the foilables, I find three works the best for me. And again, if you get some wrinkling um, and you feel like it's not transferring properly, you may want to go down a notch to two. Especially if you're using the mink for a while, um, you're going to want to lower that heat. So we're going to let that, it'll turn green in just a moment. In the meantime, let's prepare our surfaces. So you're going to want, this is going to be our background, and this is going to serve two purposes. So these are toner sheets, and what toner sheets are, um, are these are high-quality printed sheets, and these are printed with a laser printer. So what happens is, as these go through the machine, this toner, this is colored toner, this is black and white toner, black toner, I should say, um, it's going to melt. And as it melts, the foil will stick to it, and once it cools down, it's adhered properly, and you can relieve the foil from the transfer sheet, and the foil will remain behind stuck on here. So a lot of people question, well, what do I need these colored toner sheets for? So I'm going to show you how to use that. And my thought was, I also cut out some balloons here, um, is to do these in a couple different colors, but I think they will layer nicely. So the first one I have here is the Candy Swirl, which is this beautiful red and white, and I thought it would look good on this splashes sheet. And you want to cut your foil just slightly larger than your panel. And you can see our mini mink is ready. It's green. Okay. Then I'm going to cut a piece of this Rainbow Stripes 
foil and I want my sentiment Now, if you have been doing any crafting projects on your desk, you have any embossing powder, any glitter, pet hair, you might want to wipe your desk down with a Swiffer to make sure that, um, that everything, the dust is off of there. So what we're going to do here is this first one, and I'm going to do Dusty Dusty with a Dusty Dusty brush. Pink and Mean also sells these high-quality um microfiber cloths. You can use them for cleaning your stamps, but also for Dusty Dusty. They are pink. They come in a two-pack, so if you don't have the brush, you can try those. And I dusted off my image and the back of my foil. So once that's dusted off, we're going to place this in long ways, okay? So you want to put it in this way instead of this way. I guess that would be short ways. Vertically instead of horizontally, um, because if you do it horizontally, you're you're causing the foil to stick in too wide of an area too quickly, and it may cause some air bubbles in your foiling, which can then cause the foil not to stick in the right place. So we're going to put this in the special carrier sheet that comes with the mink. You can also buy extras from Pink and Main, which I do recommend, because sometimes they get stuck or in the corner, and your machine may want to eat them. So we're going to put it in this way. It does not matter if this is on the top or the bottom, but I'm just going to put it in this way because, again, the mini mink has rollers on the top and the bottom, and they're going to heat up and provide pressure. And you'll notice that I'm holding this as I feed it through the machine. I want to make sure that it comes out in the back before I release that which it did and we're going to do the same thing for this guy here we're going to do dusty dusty and this is where extra carrier sheets come in handy because as this one comes out we want to let it cool down and as it's cooling down we're going to put the next item in so we're going to feed that one in and I have this silver, glitzy silver, and we're going to do the little balloons in glitzy silver. And you can use a rotary trimmer to cut your foil. You can use regular scissors to cut your foil. I do recommend a dedicated pair of scissors to cut your foil. Um, you don't want to just, you know, use a sticky pair of scissors. And again, we're going to dusty, dusty our little balloons and our foil. And as they come out, we don't want to re reveal or remove them yet. We want to put them aside, give them a second to cool down. You don't want to use any tape or any kind of anti-static powder tool. You don't want to do any of that. Um, Anti-static powder tool will actually put dust down into your foiling, which will cause your foil not to adhere properly. And tape may also change the way the foil adheres, so I do not recommend using any tape. Okay, and then for the last piece, which is the red toner sheet, I'm going to show you guys a couple of things here. Um, let me grab another piece of toner here. I'm going to grab this piece out of the pastels. I had a piece cut already. So this is where these toner sheets come in handy is any leftover foil you have or this clear foil and the clear foil is called clear Ch shattered clear this is actually a hot foil so this has a built-in adhesive now you want to pay attention to how this comes off the roll because you want to roll it down onto your toner sheet and what this is going to do is it's going to give us a fun shattered effect on this clear foil, this clear on this uh, red toner sheet. So the clear foil will leave this funny, this fun design in the background, but we'll still have that red um, toner sheet background. So we're going to feed that in the same way. I'm not worried about dusty dusty on that because it's clear. 
But also what the toner sheets are used for is any of the negative foil or waste foil that you have left over. I'm going to show you an example with this piece. I'm not going to use this piece, but I want to show you how you can use these. Is You can die cut from these. Um, you can foil these. So if you wanted to foil something and die cut it, you would die. You would um, foil it first, and then you can use like a word die or something and cut it out. But what I'm going to do is, as I reveal this splashes... Look at how fun that is. So that went from a black and white toner image. We put our red swirls foil on there. So it went from this to this. You see the difference? And then what we're left with is this leftover waste foil or, um, you know, it's, the, it's still usable. So this is where toner sheets come in. So just as an, a visual aid here, I can now run this through as the negative foil or waste foil, I can now run this through and everything you see here will remain green and the foil will stick to everywhere else. So that's what these toner sheets are used for as an example. But we want to move on with our card here. So I have my sentiment, which I did in the rainbow stripes. Look at how fun and beautiful that is. Put that on there. And same thing, we have this leftover foil this is where those colored toner sheets come in is I can now run this through here and I would have that fun sentiment in green okay so you want to keep these waste or negative foil pieces and you can use those with the toner sheets all right and then I have some balloons let's reveal those I believe we are done with the foiling so we're going to move that away but you can see how easy it is to Foil these elements, how much fun they are. And that little dusty, dusty trick will help you from getting black spots in your foiling, okay? Now here's the fun one. This clear, shattered clear cheer foil, like I said, is a hot foil. So it's designed to be an overlay. It'll pretty much stick to anything. And I'll show you here. It actually stuck to the inside of my carrier sheet. That doesn't hurt anything. If you get foil on your carrier sheet or toner, you just take a little bit of acetone, 100% acetone, which is nail polish remover without any cuticle oils or conditioners, and wipe that down with a cotton ball. But watch this reveal now. That plain red toner sheet, this is now used up. I can throw this away, but this plain red toner sheet now has this fun shattered look. So I'm going to use this in two ways. I want to use it to background my, my dye, my, sorry, my sentiment. So I'm going to use a dye to cut this out of the center. So that'll mat that. And it's also going to be the background for this piece. So I'm going to cut this down. Actually, nope, it's cut down perfectly already. So we're just going to die cut the circle out of there. And then we're going to put this together. And that'll be our card. And we used a lot of fun pieces from this pink and main release. So let me cut this out and I'll be right back. All right, my die moved, but that's okay. It's still going to be able to be covered up by this panel. Lucky me. Very lucky. But you can see how now I can layer this behind this. How fun is that? And we have this matte layer behind. So let's put a card together. And a lot of times people ask, do you need to set the foil? You do not. Once the foil is adhered, it's good to go. Um, you, as long as you're not like purposely scratching away at it, you should be fine. This piece I cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter, so it will perfectly fit on my A2 card. Now the color pieces do come in larger sheets, so if you are somebody who likes to make larger like five by seven cards, these are much bigger. They're eight and a half by five and a half, so you could easily do um, a five by seven card with them. So now I have this in my background. I'm going to layer this on top of it. Cut my little circle. 
cover my circle. No one's going to know that was taken off of there. We're going to layer these. Who doesn't love a cheerful, fun rainbow card? I'm going to use a little foam tape on the back of this. And again, this is part of the hop to celebrate the new pink mink only from Pink and Main. So make sure you comment and follow along during the hop and you'll have a chance to win your own pink mink, some cheer foils and foilables all from Pink and Main. If you want to go shopping, I'll put the link down below for you guys. And then, of course, I have some balloons here, and I am going to use a little foam tape on those as well. I think I have some small squares here. And there we have it. Really easy, fun, sparkly, shiny birthday card created with the shattered, clear, cheer foil. And again, this is like a hot foil or an overlay foil. We have the glitzy silver, which is the what's on the balloon. So you can see that there's silver with the speckles in there. Lots of celebration in there. We have the rainbow stripes, which I used on the... Um, happy birthday sentiment. Okay. And then we have the candy swirl, which I used on the splash. And again, the um, foilables that we brought in were the happy birthday foilable kit, the rainbow toner sheets, and the brand new splashes foilable panels. And of course... The brand new Hot Pink Mink, which you can only get from Pink and Main. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Go check out the rest of the hops. If you haven't already, consider subscribing to my channel for more foiling tips. Thanks for watching and keep on foiling. Bye, guys.